Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn about abstract classes and methods. Before taking this tutorial, you're going to want to have a basic understanding of inheritance in Java. For more information on that topic, please click on Part 1 of my series on inheritance in the upper right-hand corner of this screen. Some important facts. First, abstract classes are used to create templates for concrete subclasses. Abstract methods have no body and must be overridden with a concrete method in a subclass. Abstract methods must be non-static. Also, abstract methods can only exist in abstract classes or interfaces. Abstract classes can contain anything that a concrete class can have, including concrete methods, constructors, class variables, and instance variables. You cannot create an instance of an abstract class, though you can declare a variable of the type of an abstract class. Let's pretend we have a team working on a game called Zoo Tycoon. The project manager, Lisa, wants to assign the creation of the individual animal classes to her subordinates. However, she wants to make sure they all follow the same pattern. Lisa is going to do this by creating an abstract class animal and assigning her subordinates to extend this into specific classes like giraffe, zebra, ostrich, and so on. Lisa creates an abstract class by saying public, abstract, class, then the name of the class. Lisa knows that abstract classes may have class variables, they may have instance variables, they may have constructors. They can have static or non-static concrete methods. She starts by writing two concrete methods. Eat, which is non-static, and walk, which is static. She also adds a abstract non-static method. Abstract methods must all be non-static. To make this method abstract, it's a little different than a concrete method. First, it has a keyword abstract. It has a semicolon at the end of the declaration. And there's no body. When Lisa's subordinates make a subclass later, they must make sure to override this if they want their concrete subclass to build. The overridden version of vocalize will follow the same pattern, have the same return type, and take the same number and type of parameters. One of Lisa's programmers, Juan, is assigned to make a wolf subclass. We notice this doesn't say abstract, because this is a concrete class that is going to extend the abstract class animal. Juan chooses to override the eat method. He could have let it be inherited from the animal class, because eat was a concrete method. However, he customizes it to be a little more appropriate to a wolf type of animal. Next. Juan overrides the abstract class vocalize. We notice the declaration is the same, except it doesn't have the word abstract, it doesn't have a semicolon, and it has a complete body of the method. Let's look to see how Lisa uses the concrete classes made by her teammates in the final program. She starts by declaring a, an array of type animal of size 3. She populates index 0, 1, and 2 with instances of wolf, tiger, and zebra. Wolf, tiger, and zebra are all concrete subclasses of the abstract class animal, so it will fit into an array of type animal. She also knows the basic structure of wolf, tiger, and zebra, since they extend the abstract class animal she created. She knows she can call eat or vocalize even if she hasn't reviewed the code specifically of wolf, tiger, and zebra, because she knows it would have to follow the same pattern as the abstract class that she created. Next, let's look at some examples of creating variables and objects. First, we have an example of declaring a variable, Alex, of type animal. We can have abstract classes be variable types. Here, we populate Alex with a new instance of the wolf class. 
This is legal because Wolf is a concrete class, so we can make an instance of it. And it is a subclass of animal, so it can populate a variable of type animal. Next, we look at Wolf Warren, and we initialize it with a new instance of a Wolf class. This is legal because Wolf is the same variable type and object type. And Wolf is a concrete class, so we can create an instance of it. Now let's look at this example. Animal Abigail equals new animal. This isn't legal because we cannot create an instance or an object of an abstract class type. An object must be a concrete class. This is illegal. For further reading on the topic, please check out this website or type into Google Abstract Methods and Classes Oracle and, type and choose the first result. To see the next video in this curriculum, please click on the video in the lower left hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video in the lower right hand corner of the screen.